Welcome to the shooting show. This week we follow two continental hunters up in the highlands looking for a red stag. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Um, so yeah, so weather's a bit better today, right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, well, just now it is anyway. But uh, <laughs> it's looking like there's some showers rolling up by then. Uh, so we're just going to go out on the pole here today. We're going to cut out the, the path at the bottom here, um, and then up into the saddle, um, coming over the top. Hopefully, we'll find a stag up there somewhere for you. Um, oh, maybe nice. even a ptarmigan. Um, but uh, yeah, it's just all sort of weather dependent again, really. Um, you know, last day, so there's a bit of pressure on. So. <laughs> I can find one for you. It's not really jacket worthy rain, is it? 
<laughs> this is positively clement. For... Yeah, compared to what we've had this week, it's beautiful. <laughs> right, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll head out just now and see if we can... Uh, Just, uh, we're sort of high enough up here now that there's the potential that we might see a dam again at one of these sort of scree bits above us. So we'll just keep an eye out as we're walking along because they usually sit quite, um, quite good. If we do see one more, we'll try and have a go. And stags? Um, what are you thinking? Stags, well, hopefully there's something over on the sort of uh, the east side of this hill uh, in the shelter. So. Is that near the ice cream van? Uh, just right next to it, yeah. yeah. I promise there's ice cream for you. <laughs> Yeah, but the chances are I'll probably come back up here. I'm just going to go in and have a look over the top here. So basically I've just gone over and had a little look in this quarry in the back here and there's a stag with pines down in the, the, the bottom there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure what sort of distance it is yet, um, how close we can get. The wind's sort of swirling, there's a few sort of heads up, so yeah. um, we'll go and give it a look and um, see how close we can get. Um, they might shift if they do, then you know, hopefully they'll maybe shift to somewhere a bit handier, um, not back down into the wood. It's sort of not so handy, but we'll go and give it a look. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
Scree. Yeah. They're right in the scree. Cross line on this side. See that big dark rock? Yeah. Come down and it's like scree in the green. Yeah. Yeah, they're just over in there. Today we set off out of the back of the wood and uh, the wind sort of changed halfway through the day and went around into the north which doesn't really suit this side of the estate. Um, that combined with a sort of a, a, a lack of gear about after the winter. Um, and we've, seen, we've seen a good sort of mature stag at the back of the hill. Um, came over the top and the wind was sort of swirling around in the quarry. And, uh, you know, they, they moved off onto this nose here um, just, uh, just up above us. and. Uh, yeah, when we came in along the top, it looked like everything was going fine, and then, uh, well, the wind swirled around and they took off. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it happens, it's pretty frustrating, um, but, you know, it's the nature of the beast here. The the hills that we're on, once you've sort of committed and you've dropped down into the, you know, over halfway, you're, you're just not going back up. Um, so, uh, I mean, Ryan has been pretty lucky over the years here and, and shot a few stags, so, you know, I mean, it just, it just comes with the job and, you know, sometimes we don't get them, so hopefully next year when we come back. Well, fine one yeah. And good stags last year. Oh yeah. Two good ones. One younger one and one very good one. Yeah, but memorable stalks. Mem two memorable stalks, yeah. And they sort of fit to be an next job last year. Yeah. Um, we were pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> and your sort of thoughts on today? Well, well I'm coming for the last four years to Glenatif. It's always a, a privilege to stalk with Mark in this amazing scenery. It's awesome deer. For me, it's the, the most important. They're there. That's some bad luck. That's life. That's the game. So uh, try to come back another time. And host your stag yesterday? Oh, it was really, really amazing stag, and uh, I'm really happy to have a good one. It was uh, really nice. Fortunately, the weather was better yesterday than the days before, so uh, we was really lucky to uh, to get one. And I'm really happy to be here again. And I guess it will be not the last time visiting uh, Glen Atif and uh, joining Mark with some great stocks and uh, he's an experienced gamekeeper and I enjoy it every day and every year. Well, it wasn't for a lack of trying by Reiner there, but horse pulled through in the end. And now it's the shooting show news. This is the Shooting Show News. Ely Hawk has launched a limited edition cartridge to mark its 190th anniversary. 
The anniversary cartridge is loaded in a royal blue paper case to recognise the roots of the very first cartridges being crafted in paper. It's a game cartridge loaded with a classic 30 gram 6 lead shot and will provide a keen point of interest for game shooters and collectors alike. Each box of 25 is sequentially numbered. We'll bring you a full look at the 190 year history of Ely very soon. British Shooting's Shotgun series will be back again next year. It ran for the first time this year and in 2019 will follow the same format, with three rounds of qualification leading up to a grand final. Amber Hill, Ben Llewellyn, Kirsty Barr and Steve Scott were the big winners this year. There's a report from the grand final in the November issue of Clay Shooting magazine, out now. It's not too late to stop the ban on 50 calibre rifles. The Offensive Weapons Bill was meant to be debated by MPs today, but a last-minute decision to delay means there's more time to campaign for shooting. And Basque has urged all shooters to contact their MP to express support for the amendments to the bill tabled by Geoffrey Clifton Brown. The more MPs who sign the amendments, the better chance they have of going through. And finally, more people than ever have been getting a first taste of hunting as part of Hunting Newcomers Week. Hunts and footpacks have been holding open days and newcomers' events in a bid to get the next generation of hunters involved. Tim Bonner of the Countryside Alliance said hunting is at a crossroads and those hunts that are embracing change are reaping the benefits. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.